Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson presented to you by Lizard Learning. Today we're going to be looking at nouns. Now I've been overseas, many people have been overseas and uh, I can assure you that it's very advantageous to know some of the names of things that you really require when you're traveling overseas in someone else's language and I make a point of learning some of the nouns of that language. For instance, Spanish if I want to go to Spain. Uh, casa uh, would be house. I need to go to the casa. People, just by saying the word casa, people would understand what I wanted to a degree. Uh, coche, car and so on. Learning that just those nouns can be quite an advantage. Today, we'll look at the, uh, first of all, the definition of a noun. Nouns are the names of people, places, animals, or things. Let's have a closer look at what those things, animals, places, and people are. For instance, people. Here we have a batsman, and I was thinking about Sir Donald Bradman. Now, that's a, a noun, is the actual name of the batsman. The batsman, or batsman, is a noun also. Animals. An example of an animal, a bat. So bat would be an animal. Places is the world. There's an uh, infinite number of, well, nearly an infinite number of places in the world, names of places. We call this particular place Earth. Notice it's got a capital letter. Also notice that when we give the actual name, or in this case of the planet, it's called the planet Earth, it has a capital E. When we looked at this, uh, when we looked at people, like batsmen, captain, they are names of that person, a captain, batsman, and his actual name, which is also a noun, Sir Donald Bradman. Notice that when you give the actual name of a batsman, a famous Australian batsman like Sir Donald Bradman, you always use capital letters. Things. We have balloons, trucks, sock, fork, that there is actually a tooth, a paper plane, camera. Another thing that are nouns are feelings, emotions. So sadness would be the name of a feeling. So here we have sadness, which is the name of something, a feeling. Camera, the name of a thing. Paper plane, the name of a thing. Tooth. The name of the thing, and my tooth still hurts from being to the dentist. Did a good job, though. Fork, name of the thing. Balloons, name of the thing. Truck, name of a thing. Sock, name of a thing. Now, to the names of people. Batsman. Captain. Sir Donald Bradman. Animals. Bats. Dogs, pigs, sheep. Horses, cows, snakes. Crickets, armadillo, cat, which I have one of here, places, earth, could be, that's the name of our planet. Here we have North America, South America, and there we have the USA, Mexico, talk about Colombia, Brazil, Australia. All of those names of places have capital letters when it's the name of a specific thing. 
And here we have, we just have ordinary things about the place. Right, there's a, <laughs> there's a tooth. I mean, if we started to get silly and started calling each of our teeth a name, like Terry Tooth, then you would have a capital letter. But it's just a tooth, T-O-O-T-H, no capital letter. Nouns have different forms, as we've already looked at. In common nouns, for instance, are words used to name ordinary things. For example, table, tree, egg, as well as animals, pig, tree, uh, lake, river, building, car, truck, etc., etc. They're common nouns. Proper nouns, well, we've talked about those as well, are special names for people, places, or things. Special names. Proper nouns always begin with capital letters. Examples here, Queen Elizabeth, Australia, Anzac Day, Mazda, special name for a type of car, and so on. Abstract nouns, which you also talked about, are the names of ideas, emotions, actions, feelings, etc. E.g., these are still things. Honesty, joy, speed, courage, faith, greed, thoughtfulness, selfishness. Collective nouns are when we get a group of things together. These are some of the collective nouns we might use for a pile of birds together, we call a flock. People together, a crowd. People who are in church, a congregation. People who are at a concert would be an audience. A bunch of happy cows would be a herd. And flowers, you could put into a bunch, a bunch of flowers. Also, a form of a noun, a form of nouns is gender. All nouns have gender. They may be masculine, male, feminine, female. Common, either male or female, or neuter, neither male nor female. E.g. father is masculine. Mother is is the feminine form. Parents, well that's common, can be masculine or feminine, but just parents, that's it. And table is neuter because it's neither male nor female. Number. Nouns may be either singular or plural in number. Singular means one, Plural means more than one. Example, book, plural is books. Lunch, plural is lunches. Berry, plural is berries. Valley, valleys. Thief, thieves. Ox, oxen. Radius, radii. Sister-in-law, sisters-in-law. Sheep, sheep, same. There is a sheep. There are a lot of sheep. Same with salmon. One salmon, a lot of salmon. Same with deer, one deer, many deer. So, back to what we first started with. Nouns are names of people, places, animals, or things. Just keep that in mind. People. This could be a batsman. could be a captain. And it could be Sir Donald Bradman. Animals. One example is bats, places, Earth, Manhattan, Brisbane, Queensland. Things, the millions of things that are around us. Here we are, I'll give you a moment to have a look at this and see if you can identify the nouns in this sentence. Now 
Okay. The young girl was filled with horror as the bat flapped past her face and disappeared into the night. All right, we have to figure out which of these are people, places, things, the young girl, girl. It's the name of something. Was filled with horror. That's a feeling. It's the name of something. As the bat. That's the name of something. Flap, flap past her face. Her face is the name of a feature on her head and disappeared into the night. That's the name of something. The night. Hope you got all those correct. Find the nouns in this sentence. I'll give you a minute to have a quick look at that. Okay. Rick Slade was full of joy as he stepped from the plane and onto the tarmac at the Brisbane airport. Most Australians feel like that when they're coming home from overseas. Okay. The nouns. Well, Rick Slade. How's that for a name? Be good in a, a novel. Rick Slade. That is a noun, but it's the specific name of a person. Capital letters. Rick Slade was full of Here's a feeling, that's a noun, joy. As he stepped from the plane, plane is a thing. And onto the tarmac, the tarmac is the bitumen that the plane lands on. At the, and here is another proper noun, Brisbane or airport, the name of a thing.